What was all that about this morning? Well, think of it as a reminder of just who's in control here. Do you want me to tell people about your past? Is that it? I'm curious. How can you do that without proof? I know what happened in 1989. Yeah. It's amazing what you can find out at short notice if you know the right people. We'll just take your money and leave. If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. <laughs> it's an intriguing choice of words. <laughs> with me, Josie, or well, you'll be the one who'll be watching her back. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be there first thing in the morning. Yeah, no, no, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you told me straight away. Okay. What was that about? That was the head of the investigation team. They're still not sure of the exact cause of the accident, but they are sure of one thing. The plane was deliberately tampered with. It doesn't make any sense. Does this mean someone wanted us dead? No, not at all. It could mean a number of things. But you don't actually know. Did the investigator bloke say what they did? Oh, just that there were obvious signs of interference with the engine. Exactly. And planes don't stay up in the air without their engine. Someone wanted to kill us. No, I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this. That's right. I mean, there's nothing to say that you were the target. What are you talking about? We were the only ones invited on that plane. Yeah, you were, but they may have been after the pilot. Or they could have been after the company. Absolutely. Okay, so explain the vouchers. What about them? Well, it's a pretty big coincidence. A vouchers for a free flight just turn up and that same flight crashes with us on it. Look, have you still got the envelope that they came in? Um, I don't know, maybe. Okay, well, I'll need it. Look, <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this, okay? There's no point in panic. That's right, we should just wait for the answers rather than make them up. Hey. Sorry, I just I really can't stop thinking about this. I know, I know. You heard what Pete said, it may have nothing to do with that. And I don't believe that. The vouchers were sent to you and me, Dan. It's a pretty big coincidence for it not to mean something. Even like what? I don't know. I don't know. It could mean anything. You know, maybe, maybe it's got something to do with Vinny or, or this place. I don't know. You know, but if there's someone out there trying to kill us. They're not going to stop now, are they? Oh, just... Hey. That's the uh, envelope the vouchers came in. Oh, thanks. Hey, mate, how's Leah this morning? Oh, she's still freaked out. Mate. Yeah, if there was something we should be worried about, I mean, you would tell Dan. Me. Yeah, oh, no, 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 we've got to keep things professional, yeah, but... I don't know, just really getting to both of us. I mean, Leah's not sleeping, she didn't eat any. I'm just thinking about getting out of town for a few days. Well, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Well, it can't hurt to get some distance, that's all I'm saying. Well, if you get any news, we'll give us a call on the mobile. Yeah, sure. No, no, and listen, mate, try not to worry, OK? I mean, I know that things are a bit strange at the moment, but it, it's probably just, you know, really bad luck. Yeah, I know. And unfortunately, the company had no record of who paid for the vouchers. No record at all? Well, they were paid for by money order. The purchase was made from an internet cafe in the city, so there's no way to trace who made the booking. Who would want to hurt Leah and Dan? Well, they'd have to know if somebody held a grudge, that'd be. Mm. Again, when you add up all the weird stuff that's been happening around here lately. What do you mean? Well, firstly, there was the fire at the palace. Oh, they ruled out us. Yeah, after everything pointed to it being deliberately lit, and then there was the bushfire, the unidentified body, and now this. I mean, are we missing something? Hey, slow down. The last thing we need is for everyone to be panicking for no reason. Yeah, of course not, but Irene's got a point. No, she's got a theory, and theories aren't proof. I found this by the door on my way. Oh, thank you, love. Hey, Dave, I've been meaning to call you to see how Henry is. It's fine. No, I'm so sorry. I've spoken to Rick. No, 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 it's just he's been making real efforts. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Thank you.